Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. How are you guys? I hope that you're having an amazing and a beautiful new day. And the girl, it is time to talk about Vanderpump Rules because, bitch, the mid season trailer is here and it was chaotic. It was great. It gave us a lot of clarity. And now people are talking about certain situations that I definitely wanted to talk to you, okay? So, I think this season is it's going in a really strong way, you know? I think we are uh, definitely seeing the personalities of, every, of everyone kind of like shine. Uh, some of the journeys have been very powerful, you know? Um, I'm very much right now into Sheena's journey because I feel that the fans, especially the Ariana lovers, are being extremely hard on her and I don't I just do not understand you know I I keep saying this you know I'm not team Tom Sandoval I am not team Raquel Rachel but at this point I cannot be team Ariana Maddox either if either yeah Latino moment guys you know what I mean um anyways you know because the thing is the things that she's doing the way that she's acting to me it kind of like doesn't really make a lot of sense. I understand that she was hurt. I understand that she, you know, everything that happened. I mean, we have talked about Scandoval until there is way no more to talk about. So, like, I understand. But at some point, I'm also thinking, um, girl, yes, it has been like four or five months, but you already had another man and you have like a thousand things going on for you, you know? So, like, when are you like kind of like move on? Or do you like, lay down next to your boyfriend to talk about Tom Sandoval. You know, like, I don't get it. At some point, you should be okay with, like, your friends being friends with whoever they want to be because it is time to realize that Tom Sandoval is never going to be fired from the show, you know, while he has a restaurant with Lisa Vanderpump, okay? Period. Dot. Get over it. That's just the way it is going to be, okay? So if you want to be part of this show, you need to realize that everyone is going to be friends at some point again. It happened with Kristen Doty. It will happen with Tom Sandoval, period, you know? So, and I feel that Ariana keeps, like, trying to, like, not moving on while she already has another boyfriend. It's super weird to me. Honestly, it's the cringiest thing. I remember when everything went down, the first thing that I said was, like, I hope that Ariana is not going to get herself into another relationship. Please get to know yourself first. Get to love yourself first before you jump on another relationship because it will be a mistake. You know, and what is the first thing that she does? Like 10 days after a scandal happened, she already had another man. You know, and I was like, what? okay. So how do you expect me to feel bad for you when you are already, you know, enjoying all the perks of being with another man? And look, I'm not saying that they're not going to last. They're, clearly, they're still together, you know? So, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, like, at what point she's going to allow everyone to just move on and, like, keep living whatever life they need to live, you know? So, anyways, uh, a, a lot of things are related to that. Now, talking about um, this uh, second chances and everything that is going on, but one part of the trailer that stood up to everyone and people are having like opinions right now is Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney. <sighs> I just, I have a weird, I don't know. I have a weird relationship when it comes to Katie Maloney because I have never, it's just, I don't hate her, you know, I don't really hate anyone, but I just feel that she was never the one for Tom Schwartz. I have talked about this for a very long time, and I think Tom Schwartz really liked the idea of a strong woman like around him because he doesn't like to like m make decisions or something. I don't know. I mean, I, he needs to go to therapy for that. But like, I feel that um, yeah, that, that they were never going to end up together. Because Katie always, no, no, let me rephrase that. Katie never truly accept Tom Schwartz, you know? Katie wanted it, a version of Tom Schwartz that it didn't exist. I don't know if she liked the package, you know, because Tom Schwartz 
is a very handsome, you know. Uh, but he, I think she saw him as this little lost puppy, you know, from Florida, you know, I think. And she thought that she could, like, mold him and do with him whatever she wanted to do. And when Tom Shore was like, no, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Then she was like, oh, no, 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 I can't do this, you know. And that's it. It, it was a 12 years relationship with a marriage and everything, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I always knew. I always knew that it was not going to work out. She never accepted him for what he was. And I actually, weirdly enough, think that he never accepted the fact that she was also never going to change, you know. And one thing is going to a relationship, no one should change shit. Like the best relationships is when you accept the other person just for who they are with the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know? And if someone decided to make a change into their lives, it's because they want, they want to do the change, you know, not because they are being pushed to change. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, that shit is never going to work out. But now into moving into this season and according to this mid, uh, season trailer, Katie's doing some comments saying something like, oh, you know, he, Tom Schwartz is going to realize that I was the one who got away. Why are you still thinking of what Schwartz can or cannot do? Why is Katie getting so mad that, you know, Schwartz is potentially going out with this Joe girl, you know? The thing is, it pains me a lot because you know how much I love Schwartz, but his insecurities show so much, you know, to the point that he even is, I mean, he's still in love with Katie. That's the, that's, the, that's the reality. I mean, he literally is going around telling Katie, like, if you ever want to have, like, a night one stand, like, I will be here for it. I'm like, girl. And then Katie's saying things like, you know, like, oh, I, like, he's going to realize I was the one who got, who got away. It's like, what? You know, I don't know. Do you guys believe that they actually belong to each other? Because I just don't see it. I accept it when they got married. You know, I remember when they got married, I was like, well, it is what it is. And I actually rooted for them. I don't know if you remember my episodes from back in the day. I actually was like, no, you know, I mean, they, I know that it doesn't make sense to a lot of you, but maybe, you know, opposite attracts, and maybe this can work, you know. But, mm-mm, mm-mm, you know, why? Katie wants to keep having control over Schwartz. Is she not completely accept the fact that they are not together? Is she becoming the new Madison LaCroix? Uh, that toxicity is just not going to work out. And then she's going to go and, and, and kiss or hook up or whatever is going to happen with the same girl that is doing the same with Tom Schwartz. The whole thing is just bizarre at some point, you know, because it's kind of like, what are you trying to do over here? Instead of doing all of that, why don't you find a new man to bring into the show to be your support, you know? Because Katie is looking way too much alone. At this point, if I was Katie, I was I will be bringing another man. I will be making some kind of business because that sandwich shed, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. And you need to have security, okay? What is your life going to be the moment the Vanderpump Rules is no longer on the air. Is she thinking about that? You know, I mean, girl, even Kristen had like a t-shirt line. I feel that Katie has absolutely nothing going on for her. You know, like I think from the whole cast, she's the one who's doing the list. So I don't know. Are you going to do a book? Are you going to open a restaurant? Are you going to like, but she, this is the moment that she needs to do it because let's be honest, Vanderpump Rules was going to be canceled on season 10. So I think they are living right now on borrowed time unless the show gets really, really, really good, you know? So the show might be not, might have been number one. And this season is doing good, but it's a transitional season. And now we're going to get the Valley, which it looks amazing, by the way, you know? We're going to get, Van, um, what is it, Vanderpump? No. Vanderpump, no, Villa Rosa? Wait, what is the name of the show in Hulu? Vanderpump Villa. I think it's Van- yeah. We're going to get Vanderpump Villa also on Hulu. And people are going to start moving on in different directions. So if I was Katie, I will be thinking like, okay, shit. 
what I'm going to do next, where I'm going to be getting my, my coins, you know, how I'm going to be keeping this well, other than obsessing whoever is kissing uh, Tom Shorts or whatever Tom Shorts is doing out there. I don't know. But anyways... So, yeah, people were a little bit confused of the whole comment of Kitty Maloney. You know, who cares if you were the one who went away when you were the one who filed for divorce? You know, it's not like Schwartz left you. Schwartz literally begged you to stay. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. What do you think is going to happen? Team Katie, Team Schwartz, I don't know. Let me know. And if you're going to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules, or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you all around. See ya! Bye!